without any delay let us start our process my dear friends okay today we will discuss one set of paper okay from quant sudden questions and from reasoning few set of questions we will discuss okay let's see about so that you people can recall okay all different topics okay how to solve the questions all those idea you will get see the first question now so what is this first question is here sum of two numbers is 55 and the hcm and lcm is given now they are asking sum of reciprocals of the numbers this is lcm and hcf concept lcm and hcf concept so here what they given sum of two numbers is mentioned right and they mentioned lcm and hcf you need to calculate sum of the reciprocals of the numbers so my dear friends if you just look into this question okay one property you have to know product of two numbers must be equal to lcm and hcf product this is only for two numbers not applicable for three numbers or four numbers if you have only two numbers let's say a and b product of two numbers must be equal to lcm and hcf product product of two numbers must be equal to lcm and hcf product they given in the question sum of two numbers a plus b is 55 they given lcm for those two numbers and hcf as well hcf is 5 lcm is 120 now we can get the idea a into b is nothing but 5 into 120 you got okay product of the numbers sum of the numbers what they are asking the question is sum of the reciprocals 1 upon a plus 1 upon b which is nothing but a plus b divided by a into b you know a plus b is 55 you came to know a into b is 5 into 120 5 1 is 5 11 times we can say 11 upon 120 option c is correct my difference check it out option c is correct you know voice clarity leda haima dathri is mentioning remaining immediately ga respond avunna no? voice clear unda leda so that we have alternate that's what yes sir no audible okay clear clear fine so hope you understand this question okay answer it now here this is one simple question we can say from simplification topic find the number if the difference between the number and 3 by 5th of the number is 70 this is very very simple question they are asking here the difference between the number and 3 by 5th of the number is 70 let's say the number is x the difference between x and 3 by 5th of the x is nothing but 70 in the sense 2 by 5th of the x is 70 and you can clearly get x is 35 into 5 175 X is 35 into 5, 175. So, number. Few questions they'll give easy. See, if any computer exam, any placements, you make sure they'll give 60 to 70 percent easy and moderate questions. Only 30 to 40 percent difficult questions will be given. Okay, if you can able to crack those 60 to 70 percent easy and moderate, you are done with the cut off. Okay, maximum any company they give. 60% cut off during the written test so you people can crack it right so make sure you people okay don't do wrong answers for those easy and moderate questions right now see the next one time and work related question here what they given a can do your work in 18 days b in 9 days and c in 6 days okay A and B started working together. After two days, C joins them. So this is join or left the concept in time and work. So already we shared okay time and work related 
video for you in the group we discussed okay if anyone may share related to diamond work or my youtube channel in your whatsapp group or telegram group we already shared this is join or lift the concept in diamond work okay see this person is joined after two days so here a can complete the work in 18 days b can complete the work in nine days c can complete the work in six days right now what is the work they are doing not mentioned so we have a freedom to take any value as a work you can take work value one work value can be taken as x pages like that you can take any value as the work i'm taking work is lcm of 18 9 and 6 18 pages if you do lcm it is for easy calculations lcm will help you for performing easy calculations easy calculations right so 18 days this 18 pages to be typed means this is one page per day now 18 pages 9 days means two pages per day 18 pages six days means three pages per day right so a b c okay they have to do the work okay and this is called efficiency those who are done with time and work topic you people know this is efficiency this is work this is timing okay let's take suppose if you don't have any idea regarding time and work already we shared a video in your group or maybe you can check in my whatsapp uh, in my youtube channel as well you have a time and work related basics given now here what to be done is the yeah, total number of days taken to finish the work you have to calculate initially a and b started after two days he joined right okay my difference initially for two days a and b only there first two days only a and b are working then c also join total work to be done is 18 pages you have to type you have to type 18 pages so what a and b can do a can type one page per day b can type two pages per day together they can type three pages per day as a and b available for two days two into three six pages are completed you are done with six pages now still 12 pages are pending who should do that is a plus b plus c a can type one page per day b can type two pages per day c can type three pages per day so all together they can type six pages per day six pages they can type per day right so now if they are typing six pages per day your target is to type 12 pages and you are typing six pages per day means it is nothing but two days like 12 divided by six you require two days now question you have to clearly check whether they are asking time taken to complete remaining work if they ask time taken to complete remaining work means your answer should be two days i repeat if question is time taken to complete the remaining work means two days total work means two plus two four days total time taken or time taken to complete the total work time taken to complete the total work means two plus two four days our total time taken also four days time taken to complete the remaining work or how much more time required if they ask like that how much more time required to complete the work or what is the time taken to complete the remaining work means two days is the answer now let's see what the question they are asking what is the total number of days means answer should be four listen you have two also they are asking total number of days around 70 people in the class approval pending i am just giving approval for them Seventy one join. Okay, let me update that in your group. So, this is 
question related to chain rule in time and work chain rule related question so what is there here if you see the question 140 meters long this is the work you have to build 140 meters if you recall in time and work there is a concept called chain rule in chain rule what it will be given how many members how many days here hours is not mentioned means we can cancel i'm writing all okay when now the chain rule came i'm writing the entire input but if there is not if the things are not given you can ignore it here e stands for efficiency or capacity not discussed you can ignore in question hours per day is not there h is actually hours per day you can ignore it m is how many members 18 persons how many days 42 days what is the work done 140 meters here in this side sir 30 persons how many days that is what you need to calculate what is the work to be done 100 meters so this zero this zero cancel this zero this zero cancel 14 ones 14 three times three ones three six times or three three will cancel directly right so we got 18 anyhow so how many days it will take for 30 persons to go for similar wall of 100 meters is 18 days so answer is 18 days chain rule okay work is linked with different factors right so this is how you can do very good lata and mahalakshmi answer 18 is correct so let's see about previous question somebody joined right here usha left after two days okay they started together they started working together and if usha left after two days how long would it take nilima and meena to complete the remaining work this is what i mentioned in the previous in fact in previous question you have somebody joined but here usha left after starting the work usha left the work right so let's try this question don't see the idea okay use pen and paper work on it okay this is the peak time you need to learn and practice neelam can complete the work in 10 days usha can complete the work in 12 days meena can complete the work in 15 days right and the work we can take any value but preferably for easy calculations take lcm for 10 12 and 15 we got 60 i am taking the work is typing 60 pages suppose by mistake you got 120 also no problem you will get say correct answer only here one page or 10 pages or 100 pages or x pages also will get same answer okay preferably if you do lcm calculations will be easy in the 60 pages in 10 days means 6 pages per day 60 pages in 12 days means 5 pages per day 60 pages in 15 days means four pages per day right this is all their efficiencies per day how much is what their efficiency or capacity timing three questions related to time and work you are recalling chain rule joining concept now lift the concept initially they work together after two days <laughs> after two days usha left so what you can take first two two days all three are there then usha left means only n and m neelam and one more girl meena is there right a total work we know 60 pages is the task 
so initially neelam six pays per day usha five pays per day okay meena is four pays per day 15 pages they can type per day two days means 15 into 2 30 pages are typed still what is the pending work is 30 pages yet to type who should do that is neelam and meena neelam can do six meena can do four 10 pages per day now 30 pages 10 pages per day means 3 days the question they are asking total time taken is 2 plus 3 5 but there are remaining time taken what is the time taken to complete the remaining work remaining work is 30 pages to complete that it required 5 days 5 days only required to complete the work so option a Five days, seven days. If it is total time taken, if they ask, they are asking only remaining time taken. So it's nothing but five days. So guys, are you understanding this question? Check once. Any doubts? Please let me know. Remaining work, or they are asking about total work. You have to understand and check. For all recruitments, okay. This is. Two trains are running in the same direction. That to 90 kilometer per hour one is, other one is 70 kilometer per hour. The faster train passes the man sitting in the slower train. This is faster one, more speed. This is slower one, less speed. Okay, cross a man sitting in the slower train. My dear friend. Okay, before going for this question, let me know. Okay. what is the distance to be considered when train crossing a man standing on platform i am asking you when train crossing a man standing on platform what is the time taken by train crossing a man standing on platform here yeah, what is the distance in that case this is the pole or man standing train okay when now they say you have to consider train is exactly suppose i am asking about a man is standing on a platform now train should cross that train should cross the man standing on platform right see this this is train exactly okay man okay now train crossing the platform or my man standing on platform means means it's like train crossing the man only okay distance is length of the train the one which is moving okay the, the one which is moving here is here in this case faster train is crossing a man sitting in slow train but the man sitting on train or man sitting on platform we don't worry about that here only you should consider this 36 seconds what it is giving you know time is okay distance by speed here as both objects are moving in same direction speed must be 90 minus 70 20 km per hour a timing is in seconds distance is in meters if people are supposed to convert that into 5 by 18 that is regarding speed what about distance is distance is length of faster train only why is there length of faster train my dear friend okay here you just observe okay this train okay this faster train should cross that man So this is front of the train. After crossing, it should be back of the train. So let's say this is the train. I can say, okay, initially this is the case. Then after crossing, what will happen? So the train will be here. So here, what is the crossing thing? Is distance is nothing but that length of train only. The distance is nothing but length of the train. Okay, so the, for this front of the train crossing and back of the train leaving, for that it is taking 36 seconds. So 36 seconds. This 20 into 5 by 18 also you can send to this side equal to length of the train. So 18 two times 14 into 5 200. 200 meters is the length of the train. This is excellent next level question. You may see in textbooks train crossing a pole. train crossing a man running all those are standing something but here train one train crossing a man sitting in another train so we had to say it is crossing only man 
this faster train is crossing only man so distance is length of the faster train we suppose slow train is crossing a man sitting in faster train then distance is slow train the one which is going to cross that okay the one which is moving we are considering we are cross the man is or the train is crossing a man which is train faster train means take length of the faster train okay likewise you should consider and to make as both objects are moving so distance we are considered both as the same direction speeds must be subtracted opposite direction speeds must be added so time and distance we are recalling right let's see the next question one more related to time and distance previously same direction no opposite direction opposite direction right so here a train traveling at 48 km per hour completely crosses another train having half of its length and traveling in the opposite direction at 48 km per hour in 12 seconds it also passes a railway platform in 45 seconds what is the length of the platform right so this train one let's say this is train one this train one can cross a railway platform in 45 seconds or see this this train one can cross okay a railway platform in 45 seconds so platform length is not negligible previous question train crossing a pole or man pole length or man length is negligible compared to train length but now train is crossing platform when train is crossing a platform so the situation is let's say this is the platform here now train is going to cross this platform right now this is front of the train and it should be back of the train here distance is length of the platform plus length of the train now platform length is not negligible this is what pictorial scenario or else you can see okay like okay we have this is a platform let's say this is the platform and train should cross this so you have front of the train this is the train is at the front of the platform it should keep on crossing first it will cross the uh, platform and it cross the length the train length itself so first here this distance platform distance then it will go for the train distance so we will get here length of the train plus length of the platform and only train is moving platform not moving 45 seconds so time is distance by speed okay 45 seconds distance is length of the train plus length of the platform speed is 48 km per hour but your job is to convert that into meter per seconds i hope you can understand distance is in uh, timing is in seconds length is in meters they are asking here length in meters it should be in meters so that okay here i want length of the train then only i can calculate length of the platform here if you observe this we can say cross multiplying length of the train plus length of the platform is 45 into 48 into 5 upon 18 here 9 2 times 9 5 times 5 24 times 120 into 5 600 meters is length of the train plus length of the platform this is a train crossing platform case train crossing platform but there is another situation two trains train one crossing train two okay train one crossing train two in opposite direction they given time taken for that again time is distance by speed but as two trains are moving so we have to get speeds adding other train speed is 42 this is kilometer per hour again to convert into meter per second we are multiplying with 5 by 18 kilometer per hour to meter per second is 5 by 18 you can see one opposite direction speeds must be added same direction speeds must be subtracted it will take 12 seconds. Now, my dear friend, see what should be the distance here. 
distance is what train one like previous one train is crossing a platform length of the train plus length of the platform ke okay, train one is crossing train two train one length is lt that on the train is half of this length they given in question they said okay on the train this is crossing another train like another platform okay train crossing platform instead of platform here we have on the train the train length is half of its first one okay another train length is half of the first train length that's why we taken first train length is lt this one is lt by 2 now this is 12 all together this is equal to 12 this is 8 in 5 times 19 is 5 times 5 into 5 25 25 into 12 is 300 we got lt as 200 lp plus 3t by 2 means 3 lt by 2 12 into 25 is 300 you got lt 200 when length of the train is 200 obviously length of the platform will be 400 length of the train is 200 length of the platform is 400 so this the question regarding length of the platform 400 is your answer some of you may go to answer as 200 but the 200 is nothing but length of the train they are not asking about length of the train the question is length of the platform time and distance okay one series i hope you understand previous question same direction okay here also have an excellent update train is crossing Fast train is crossing a man sitting in slow train, and here train is crossing platform. Train is crossing another train. Okay, now let's see about the other question. So at any point of time, if you have doubts, so please let us know. We will discuss that. Let's see this next question. Every Monday. Ganesh jogs three miles for the rest of the week. Each day he jogs one mile more than the previous day. How many miles does the Ganesh jog in two weeks? See some basic questions like this. Every set that's what I am telling you, my dear friends. Believe okay. Every set they are giving like this. Yogendra, I am not doubting that, Nana. Yogendra, you, I think you raised the hand. Any doubt? First text him. Yogendra, Kona. Right. So, serious question. Every Monday, three. Miles. Tuesday will be four. Wednesday will be five. Thursday will be six. Friday will be seven. Saturday will be eight. Sunday will be nine. Okay. So one mile more than the previous. This is first week. One week. Next week also same. Every Monday. Try to understand. Don't say again Monday is ten. No, every Monday it's reset to three, right? So if we calculate for one week, what you got here? Ah, take sum of natural numbers up to nine. Nine into ten divided by two, forty-five. Among the three removed, forty-two. Or do that summation. You got forty-two for one week. Two weeks means two into forty-two. Some basic questions like this also they ask. So that's what. Okay, don't give up. Okay, if tapper is very tough, cut off will be generally low, right? So make sure. Okay, don't give up until unless your exam primary is completed. Try all questions. Okay, most of the recruitments there is no negative marking. Gate exam. Okay, that's a different thing. There are negative marking. And for placements point of view, most of the time there is no negative marking. Few companies have negative marking. We'll update you when we go for. that company but majority of the companies no negative marking 
okay when you attend any company they will give some instructions initially before starting the test you can read majority companies no negative marking clear right so let's see about the next question profit and loss p says they are asking two questions from profit and loss time and work one question time and distance one question okay so the profit and loss percentage is two questions they are asking in my telegram group and whatsapp group everywhere i shared you the break up for tcs company preparation as well each to which we topic you can expect questions how many questions and related videos stuff also we already shared okay if any people are aiming for tcs as the goal you people can prepare accordingly sindhu sell a dress to banu at a gain of 17% banu sell to anusha at a loss of 25% if anusha pays 1842.75 how much sindhu pay for it so sindhu purchased and sell it to banu so banu purchased this see this is banu purchased or sindhu sell sindhu sold it or banu purchased it both are same then banu sold to anusha or anusha purchased this see two things okay suppose you are purchasing a book from a shop okay if you are purchasing the book from your shop for you it is cost price for the shop it is selling price for the shop person that's why so sindhu purchased and sell it to banu this is selling price of sindhu or it is equal to banu purchasing price then banu sold it to anusha that this amount can be considered as banu selling price or anusha purchasing price here 17% gain means 17% increased okay sindhu sell it for 17% increase but banu sell it for 25% loss means decreasing now what is sindhu paid or purchased is 17 sindhu paid what are the amount into 117% because of 17% increase into 75% because of 25% decrease is nothing but equal to the amount paid by anusha anusha paid amount anusha paid amount is 1842.75 right now you will get sindhu amount here just doing that simple calculation division here okay sindhu purchase is 1842.75 divided by 117% means 117 divided by 100 that will go to numerator as into 100 75 percent means 75 divided by 100 that will go to numerator as into 100 this is 25 three times 25 four times as i multiplied with 100 that is 1842 that points on it will become 75 directly because i multiplied by 100 into 4 also there denominator 117 into 3 okay for pcs recruitment calculator alone but not for a, a majority of remaining companies they don't allow and we'll see is that integer value or not so options all are integer values means it is going to get cancelled so that said out there is some cancellation for sure okay this is 13 9 times 131 times 13 you have 5 remainder 54 4 times 52 22 will be there 1 time 13 97 will be there 7 times 91 65 will be there that is 5 times now again i should try to divide with 3 okay this is yes we can divide with 3 or 9 also 9 ones 9 still 551 means okay we can go for 9 fives and 45 67 seven times 63 45 this is 5 again if you try this is 525 525 into 4 is 2100 okay few recruitments like gate and tcs virtual calculator allow but not for all companies so you need to be smart enough to do the calculations we got 2100 finally 
time and distance three questions from time and work two general questions we discussed so we are trying to recall the concepts what we learned and in here why 117 percent is 17 percent increase 100 percent means one there is no change if there is no change 100 percent will be there but here what is the change 17 percent more increased gain gain means increase only so that is why 117 here loss loss means decrease if there is nothing we consider 100 percent but you are 25 percent less or decrease that's why 75 hope you are clear why 117 and 75 there when it is 10 percent increase i have to write 110 that's what the basic in profit and loss to avoid formulas you always can follow that logic when there is 20 percent profit you have to write sp equal to 120 percent of cp 10 percent loss means sp equal to 90 percent of cp must have any other mind that 117 in the other mind that okay i'll give unmute question also maybe me text and time work first and after that again unmute chesan nanu four five zero one are you there Shravani, you have respect for asking the question, but please respond as well. The question I give, my master Jason, I am going to give you the answer. Check them. Come on. Somebody unmute it. Ikra naga. um muting all mics fine so the many people are getting the clarity what is the discussion why 117 we taken all those are getting the clarity there are other people those who are in the session ma session lo unnara first pro 2 o'clock respond ayyadu to 245 indi ఒక రెస్పాన్స్ లేదు మధ్య ఒక ఫ్రెండ్ అడిగారు తర్వాత వాళ్ళు ఏం మాట్లాడలేదు అసలు వినిపిస్తున్నాడు మీకు ఏమన్నా ఆమె ఆడు మీరు ఎవరు రెస్పాండ్ కాకపోతే అదొక ప్రైమరీ క్వశ్చన్ వస్తుంది మాకు ఎస్ దే సైడ్ ఫైన్ ఓకే థ్యాంక్ యూ రెస్పాండింగ్ ఫర్ దట్ Hope you people understand. Okay, why you got one seventeen here? Why seventy five here? So let's move for the next question. Shopkeeper bought one fifty calculators at the rate of two fifty per calculator. He spent two thousand five hundred on transportation. Whatever you spend until you sold will comes under cost price only. Whatever you spend until you sold will comes under cost price. what is cost price of 150 pieces of calculator is 150 calculators each one 250 but transportation and okay packing it's not parking packing transportation and packing cost okay these together comes under cost price only now marked price what is marked price you people know when you purchase any shirts or clothes or maybe you are purchasing any groceries also they put some price there mark some price there that's not the original price they increase the price and they'll put right you may know okay suppose let's say cold drink 2 liters bottle 100 rupees then they'll give some discount 5 rupees 10 rupees like that right so here they mark it for high price only so purchased each calculator for 250 rupees now they mark it as okay the market price of the calculator is 320 the market it as 320 rupees 320 per calculator price of the market price of 150 pieces they definitely increase the price 
So 150 pieces calculators, each one 320 rupees, means it becomes 48,000 now. The market for high price only obviously. Then what they do for selling the products, they announce the discounts. Now they said here 5% discount. Different cities you can see there is some okay, uh, wholesale shops and all, they will announce some discounts, right? So here 5% discount. So after discount, the discount is also on marked price. Marked price is this. Now you are giving 5% discount for that. 5% discount, then you are selling the product. So if you do 5% discount, selling price of 150 pieces of calculators is nothing but equal to 95% of 48,000. So why 95%? Discount they are giving means the price is decreasing, right? When they are giving discount, the price will decrease. That's why 95% increase means 105%. Okay, as this decreasing, we are writing, okay, 95% or else the other way of doing calculation, when as calculator is not allowed in majority of the companies, 48,000 decreasing, how much discount is there? I have to subtract. Listen, I'm calculating 5% for 48,000. They said clearly, you have to calculate discount on market price. For 48,000, 10% is 4,800. How, sir? My dear friends, 10% means 10 by 100. For any value, you want to calculate 10% means simple divided by 10. I repeat, for any value, you want to calculate 10% means simply dividing by 10. Dividing by 10 is sufficient. Okay, so 48,000 divided by 10 is 4,800. That is 10%. 5% means half of this, 2,400. So they given discount of 2,400. Now what is the selling price sir? Guys, you have to tell what's the selling price now. Selling price is, after subtracting that, 45,600 you are getting. Selling price of 150 pieces is 45,600. Right? Okay, now, it's not 480, 4,800 for 10%. Now they're asking profit or loss dear. If you recall the same question we given, cost price of 150 pieces, we got already 40,000. Now selling prices of, selling price of 150 pieces is, 45,600. Here clearly it is increased by 5,600. So profit percentage but 4 chocolates. Yeah, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is nothing but equal to 10. So among those people, okay, 1 person got 1 chocolate, 1 person got 2 chocolate, 1 person got 3, 1 person got 4. Now you have to decide, okay, Ramesh got more chocolates than Sailesh. Papu get fewer chocolates than Nakul. Okay. Nakul. Papu is less than Nakul. Ramesh is more than Sailesh. But we cannot still assign which is for, 4 is for which one. Okay. Definitely R is not equal to 1. N is not equal to 1. That only we can conclude. R and N are not equal to 1. S and P are not equal to 4. That only I can conclude because Ramesh is more than Silesh. Okay. And uh, Papu is less than Nakul. Right. Now that's the data. Now let's keep going. What they given here. First question. Ramesh got twice as much as the number of chocolates received by Silesh. Okay. Then. Which is correct, my dear friends? We know already Ramesh is more than Silesh. Now they said Ramesh got twice as much as the number of chocolates received by Silesh. Then which of the options are correct? This is good question actually. Nakul get odd number, Nakul get even number, Papu get even number. 
Ramesh get even number, which is correct option. Excellent Madhuri option A, Ramesh get even because Ramesh is twice the Silesh, whether Silesh is one, okay, or two, only two chances is that Silesh if it is one or two, then Ramesh can be two or four. Both are even numbers only. If Silesh is one, then Ramesh is two. If Silesh is two, then Ramesh is four. So why not remaining thing? If we take Silesh as three, three into two six is not there. We have one chocolate, two chocolate, three chocolates, four chocolates only. Six is not received by anyone. We don't know about this three. This three Nakul may be odd, may be even. Appu may be even or odd. It may we cannot say that. We don't have that information, but. Only thing I can decide with the data they given here is Ramesh is multiplied by uh, Swalesh is multiplied by two. Then Ramesh is obtained. If any number is multiplied by two, if, okay. If any integer is multiplied by two, then obviously we get it as an even number. So Ramesh will get even number of chocolates. Confirm. What about this question? Next one more question. One data, what you know is Ramesh is more than Silesh, Nakul is more than Papu, or Papu is less than Nakul. Now here they say Nakul get at least two chocolates more than Papu. Then which is correct? My dear friends, here they given a different style. We know we have one, two, three, four. They said Nakul get at least two chocolates more than Papu. Okay. Then what is the correct among the options? One chance, okay, Papu may be one. Nakul can be three or four at that time. Yeah, at least two means, at least means greater than or equal. So Nakul may be two chocolates more or three chocolates more also fine. Other chance is Papu is two, Nakul is four. In this case, if okay, Papu go with two, Nakul with four, then Silesh will get one and Ramesh will get three in this scenario, in second case. Silesh and Ramesh together, five chocolates at least is wrong. They are asking which is correct one. Silesh get less number of chocolates as compared to Papu. No, if suppose in this case, Papu one, Silesh two, this Nakul or Ramesh can be three or four. Nakul 3 means Ramesh 4 or Nakul 4 means Ramesh is 3 and still Silesh get less number, we cannot say that. Ramesh get more chocolates than Silesh, that we know right already. This is straight forward. In question already we know Ramesh get more than Silesh, they given. 100% sure option B is correct. Again Madhuri excellent. We know already, this is given in the question, Ramesh got more than Silesh is already there. There is straight forward available in option B. Then saying Ramesh got at least two chocolates more than Papu. Here, this is wrong. Only one chocolate more. At least two chocolates is failed here. So, see this, this is the thinking process, my dear friend. You have to try all possibilities. Don't say some people will do, sir. Uh, this is the only thing, sir. I, I take in Papu two, okay. Uh, Nakul as four, then Silesh is one, Ramesh is uh, three. No, we have to try all possibilities, my dear. It's not about taking only one thing and completing my job done. Not like that. Think all possibilities. Any doubt in this question, please let me know. Am I doubt something?
అర్థమవుతుంది అందరికి గౌతమి హోప్ యూఆర్ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ పావని భాష లలిజాన్ భాష అర్థమవుతుందా ఓన్లీ వన్ థింగ్ ఓకే ఈ సెషన్స్ అన్నిటికి కూడా కాలేజ్ ప్లేస్మెంట్స్ ఎవ్రీబడీ దే ఆర్ స్పెండింగ్ సమ్ అమౌంట్ అండ్ కండక్టింగ్ దీస్ సెషన్స్ మీకు ఏమైనా అర్థం కాకపోతే ఇమీడియట్గా అడగండి అమ్మ ప్లీజ్ బీ క్లియర్ విత్ దట్ పాయింట్ డోంట్ డిస్టేక్ ఓకే అండ్ యు ఆర్ పేయింగ్ ఫార్ దిస్ సో మేక్ షూర్ యూ పీపుల్ గెట్ ద బెనిఫిట్ డోంట్ వేస్ట్ యువర్ టైమ్ రైట్ ఎవరికైనా డౌట్ ఉంటే డౌట్ అని మెన్షన్ చేయండి నేను అన్యూట్ చేస్తాను మీరు ఆ క్వశ్చన్ అడగచ్చు hope you are clear with this question i am moving for the next one more question is there three questions yeah now it is we have one data r is more than x n is more than p this is already given in the question that is fixed one other thing is 1 2 3 4 if nakul get more than ramesh if nakul get more than ramesh then sailesh or pappu we, we don't have clarity but nakul will get four for sure Ramesh will get 3 for sure. This Sailesh or Pappu will take 1 or 2. If Sailesh is 1, Pappu will be 2. Or if Pappu is 1, Sailesh will be 2. Vice versa likewise. So that's what. Now, Nakul and Pappu together, at least 5. Correct. Nakul is 4, Pappu 1 or 2. 4 plus 1 means 5, 4 plus 2 is 6. Nakul and Pappu together, at least 5 is correct. Sailesh and Nakul together, at least 5 is also correct. Pappu and Ramesh together, at least 4 is also correct. Sailesh and Ramesh, Pappu and Ramesh. Okay, Nakul and Pappu, that we have clarity. Okay. fine there is one more this is that is what okay there is one more possibility wait 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 it can be nprs also this is also possibility now that also i need to consider and one more thing you observe in the question they given not necessarily true it's wrong one you have to calculate it is not necessary which among is wrong there are four pos- three possibilities all together one is nrsp one is nrps one is nprs okay considering all cases this will be 4 3 2 1 this will be 4 3 2 1 this one also 4 3 2 1 now look into this shailesh and nakul shailesh and nakul together minimum 5 yes I want not necessary. This is okay. No problem. Wherever you add Silesh and Nakhil, minimum 5. 6 also possible. Okay, 5 also there. No problem. Nakul and Pappu, at least 5. Nakul and Pappu, 5. Here, 6. Yeah, that is also no problem. Next one, Pappu and Ramesh together, at least 4. Pappu and Ramesh together, at least 4. Yes, that is also true. This is not correct. Sailesh and Ramesh, here it is wrong. Sailesh and Ramesh, together, I got three only. They want at least four. This is where it is wrong. They are asking not correct one only. Option A. See the fun in this question. We have three possibilities. One possibility, last one is giving you the things. Only thing what you know, okay, already you know, Ramesh is more than Sailesh. Nakul is more than Pappu or Pappu is less than Nakul. Now you got Nakul is more than Ramesh. Right? It can be NR or NP. NR or NP. Then after R, R greater than S, that we need to go. So RPS or RSP we can take, or PRS we can take. So consider all things. You can get the idea only option A is correct. Three questions related to the same data that were excellent questions they given. So guys, this is how you people can learn. Generally, this still comes under puzzles. 
oriented test okay maybe arrange puzzle arrangements is one of the concept okay we little comes in the puzzle arrangement now again two questions with the same input series one is this p into r divided by q indicates what in thesis recruitment also this is important letter relations they are asking two to three questions including advanced and foundation now here a is the son of b a is the brother of b a is the sister of b a is the mother of b for each symbol they given right so p into r p is sister of r r divided by q r is mother of q then p is sister of q p and q different generation no p is aunt of q correct aunt is what mother sister parent sister in english is aunt in in regional language or in our local language we may call different things your mother sister we may call different thing but in english parent sister is aunt mother sister is maternal aunt for all mother side we can use the tag maternal for all father side we can use the tag paternal here aunt okay because q mother is r okay mother sister is p so p is aunt of q is obviously correct we don't know q gender q male or female i don't know i cannot q is daughter of p no okay. and lad e mir college bike len tar kuda easy ga job saavadu na next year kuda year next year 2025 lo ga ante nee jobs increase unte 2024 ending lo but anta varaku wait cheyadam kashtam so unna vaatlu placements manchi participate cheyandi every drive whether it is simple package or high package try if you are eligible go and try don't uh, okay uh, skip it fine so here what they given x and y are children subject okay but they don't know of okay, the x and y genders z is father of x but y is not the son of z means y is daughter of z how is y related to x these two are siblings okay both are sisters both are brothers or brother and sister i don't know x gender but y gender is y is how related to x is sister y is sister to x so like this they are asking simple questions as well right okay see the next one after 10 set of questions in reasoning again we'll go back to the quant and we'll discuss some questions let's see this question my dear friends cubes and dice a cube is cut in two equal parts along a plane parallel to one of its faces one piece is colored red and the two larger pieces red and the two larger pieces one piece is then colored red on the two larger faces okay and green on the remaining okay while the other is colored green on two smaller adjacent faces and red on the remaining each is then cut into 32 cubes of the same size and mix it up how many cubes have two red and one green that's one question the other question how many cubes have no colored at all the cube is cut into equal parts two equal parts means it will become a cuboid one of its okay parallel to one of its faces fine one piece is then colored red on the two larger faces and green on the remaining while the other piece is colored green on two smaller adjacent faces and red on the remaining 
so try to understand this cube is cut means two and the okay, one piece is colored red and the other one okay, we have two pieces you cut the cube cut into two equal parts means you will get two cuboids okay and each is then cut into 32 cubes of same size and mix it up okay superb means total 64 cubes will come first one 32 next one 32 and they mentioned cuboid is cut into two equal parts that also we need to check then how many cubes have two red and one green colored face on their surface how many cubes have no colored face at all right my dear friends okay if you recall like a cube suppose 32 cubes means each is cut into 32 cubes so two are there with 32 cubes 32 plus 32 64 is the total cubes actually so 64 cubes means that side the cube is having 64 smaller cubes each divided into 30 30 means two are there so 64 smaller cubes are there which is eight cube means actually initially initially you have a cuboid with each side okay eight centimeters or eight okay i'll show you what i mean to say i hope you got 32 each divide into 32 32 means 32 plus 32 you are going to get 64 smaller cubes i hope that clarity everybody have right okay what this 64 smaller cubes is from the bigger cube you finally got 64 smaller cubes the bigger cube is having each side let's say 8 cm or 8 m here 8 here 8 here 8 length breadth height all are 8 8 okay then they cut into two pieces they may cut with respect to this front side or left side or right side they cut into two pieces means then it will become Length or breadth or height, one among them become half. Then we have a cuboids. Cuboids will get two cuboids will come. So one cuboid will be. Let's say I did cut in horizontal like this. I cut horizontally like this. Then you have a cube. this is also top level question my dear friend excellent next level question so length is 8 breadth is 8 height is 4 only like that one more cube also okay two cubes they divided that cuboid is divided into two cubes 4 into 4 into 32 this one also 32 came fine but what's the extra thing they said after that what they said now see after cutting among this one piece large faces are colored red color large faces are colored red means this is red color this is large one larger one is this red bottom also red remaining all are green right side green your back side green your left side green your front side green except top and bottom because i i cut this horizontally you can cut in vertical different style i cut in horizontal so larger is this so larger one red okay remaining green you see in the question they mention larger one red okay two larger faces in red and remaining green top level question this is actually okay if you are able to understand means you are in the next case okay so next level you guy now see next one the other one is colored green on two smaller adjacent faces smaller ones okay and red down remaining okay 
so this is smaller this is smaller right so i take adjacent means you can take left or right front and left or front and right side it's your wish i'm taking okay front side green right side green to adjacent that to smaller is this one only remaining all are red i'm taking red in top red in bottom top and bottom this is red in left side red in back side as well remaining all you have to paint red okay super you are done with that now what they asked and mixed up now you put it one above one okay um, here one one more here here one and here one more you put mixed up mixed up in the sense this small pieces they given separately or what way we have to check wait wait so have you got that uh, 64 smaller cubes see, see they divide like this they cut right they divide into smaller pieces means length will be 4 height they will they'll divide by 4 see you will get 64 smaller cubes you can observe that here so how you got 64 And that too here above is 32. This layer above 32, layer below 32. I'm showing all 64 at a time here. right so this is what 64 smaller cubes and this is why i said four as length you can observe it now four in length four in breadth four in height this is why the reason you can observe four smaller cubes here total 64 smaller cubes will come okay but question they are asking two red then one green how many cubes right see generally three colors will be in the corner okay this is three one cube one smaller cube three faces painted we have six faces for everything three faces painted will be available in the corner every corner now i'll check they said two red and one green right okay now here in this corner this is a red color this cube top side is red color right side green left side green no i don't get two red and one green here in this entire you try any corner this corner also what will happen top red right side this side green this side green no option so i'll check here in this one in this corner left side red okay top side red okay green this is okay this corner we have to consider two red and one green and this corner cube if you see like this this cube i am talking about this one if you observe left side red top side red back side also red no my difference is i have not considered this last one because that is having left side red top side red back side also red three reds are there but i want two red and one green this is okay you observe left side red top side red front side green two red two red and one green in this corner okay now bottom bottom also what will happen left side red bottom side red yeah this is this is also fine two red and one green will come now what about this corner bottom red right side green this one okay friends so this corner green green red will come no so why you are not considering this this side green this side green this side red two green and one red no i want two red and one green 
this is also not acceptable this blue dot no. not acceptable there this is not okay this is not okay now this one top side right front side green right side green no this is also waste this is already waste we have one two three three more to be checked this corner this corner back side right top side right right side green okay this is acceptable two red and one green will come this corner back side red bottom side red right side green okay this is also acceptable these two these two acceptable finally i want to check this one this is having bottom red back side red left side also red no only four are available my dear my dear friends i got only four where two red and one green is available two red and one green is available only in four you kindly check the question clearly okay you can obtain that only four is the answer those who by heart formula sir for cubes concept we know formula n minus 2 whole cube okay or we have some formula like uh, uh, 6 into n minus 2 whole square no color phase one color phase okay dear but here it's a different concept a cube first divide into two pieces become cuboid then they painted and they club then they mixed up those things so it's not possible right don't apply formula directly this is the answer for how many no color faces yeah in cuboid shape if you want no color faces it's l minus 2 into b minus 2 into h minus 2 no colored face at all no no color because see you what you did you divided this four layers into two different things now you painted only outside you painted all outsides right here you painted all outsides not inside now what is there anything which is not painted is listen my dear friend here l minus 2 b minus 2 this is a cuboid l minus 2 b minus 2 h minus 2 will be zero okay see you just observe actually what is this one if you cut properly you got like this you'll get it like i'm just showing you the original scenario how do you look into this Now, if you observe, all above one painted, all below one painted, not painted is zero. Same thing happened here. If you have three layers, middle layer, middle one may not be painted, but I have only two layers. When you have only two layers, this one painted, this one painted. So, these cubes all are painted at least one face. These cubes all are painted at least one face. So, no face painted are zero actually. No color space faces painted at zero. One regarding this formula. Okay, your answer is none. Answer is zero. No colored face at all is zero. All cubes are at least one face painted. Am I putting me chala madhi chala doubts on the question? Lo, ye doubt na please unmute chesi aragan na. Meer questions arag ka pote. Nain chhutu na fine, but me kar atme do le thiri do. Then we can mute Prosh Nichol. Please ask. This is top level question. If you are going to doubt on the unmute chase, are going to be ideal. Go on there. You are not learning anything here. The recruitments are very tough right now, as there is less number of jobs. So they may ask this type of high level questions as well. मेरे क्लास कटन दो उन्होंने तो ये तो मेरे नेच कॉलर ने तो मार्क प्रॉब्लम क्लास इज अप तू 4 पीएम इनका 4 5 वर्क कलर वो एक्सटेंड होते हैं सामान अपडे वेल को तो ना रूम सो इट्स ऑल ओके आई डोंट नो व्हाट यू पीपल विल गेन विथ ऑल दिस थिंग्स फाइन ओके अब मिस्टर अंकुन 
but we have time the details where how many minutes each person is there in the session everything will be shared to the team your principal sir or your dean or hrs everybody receives if a question or doubt unta adigana ma unmute provision ichchanu after 5 minutes 2 3 minutes i will disable again okay if you have doubt right now unmute chesi adigana ma question clear up shall we proceed for next fine so we'll better okay from tomorrow onwards we'll try to suspend the classes we'll inform that you people are not okay with the online sessions okay we'll go for offline we already have that thought okay as you have mid exams after mid exam it will be offline session college is trying to do something but you people are not utilizing it okay i'll update the same to the uh, principal sir and the team okay like people are not responding means then what's the use dear friends see the next question directions related sham walk 5 km towards east then turn left without direct without diagram also you people can do i'll give you both approaches here sham walk 5 km east then turn left left means anti clockwise north will come or you can try in diagram 5 km east then turn left means this will goes to north so one without diagram also again he turns right means he come to east only 9 km east here also you can try he turn right means 9 km east then again he turns to his right east right side means south will come so 6 km south here it will be 6 km now from initial point from starting point to final point so your journey stops starting to final here north and south 6 north 6 north south cancel east can be added 5 plus 9 is 14 14 east is your answer so from starting point your final point is 14 km east direction here also you can observe this is 5 this distance is 9 so 5 plus 9 14 from starting to final we have 14 km clear right next clock related question between 1 hour and 12 hours how many times hour needle and minute needle will lie together will be together okay how many times it will be together my dear friends after 1 hour okay when it will meet you know 1 5 5 11 approximately you can understand at 15 in your watch also you check you may have needles watch means then you can check you may think about 15 but exact timing is 155511 then it will meet at 210 you may think but it's actually 210 1011 next is 315 you may think but that is 315 1511 well. 15 should be numerator should be less than denominator 15 by 11 okay 11 one times that one you add here 614 is the reminder guys see i'm giving you the timings at what time they'll meet exact timing between 1 and 2 it will meet at 15511 between 2 and 3 it will meet at 21011 between 3 and 4 31515 115 is more than 11 we have to divide 11 one time so that one is added here when 11 is divided by 15 one is the quotient that is added here reminder should be taken out that's what this for then 421911 that is 42020111 you can write like that then 52738111 632811 
सेवन है थर्टी फाइव थर्टी फाइव लेवल में सेट वी भी थर्टी एट टू बेलेवन बेल कम देन एट फोर्टी थ्री सेवन बेलेवन देन नाइन फोर्टी फाइव फोर्टी नाइन वन बेलेवन बेल कम आई एम टेलिंग यू ऑल वोस टाइमिंग्स एक्सेक्टली अप्रोक्सिमेटली यू मे थिंक नाइन फोर्टी फाइव मिनी टाइम एंड अवर हैंड टू But I am giving you the exact timings. Ten fifty fifty by eleven. Ten minutes fifty four six by eleven. Next one is twelve o'clock. But they are asking between. Means we cannot consider twelve. They asked between here. When there is a between word, okay, don't consider this twelve. So eleven times. No eleven. Not eleven. Here. Ten only, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. To complete one round, one full cycle required three six uh, two levels. One full cycle means three sixty degrees, right? Then one hour, one hour thirty degrees. Then it is for one hour thirty degrees, right? So seven hours means seven into thirty degrees. Wait. Now in one hour thirty degrees means one hour means sixty minutes, right? Sixty minutes thirty degrees. You have twenty minutes here, seven twenty. This is seven hours, okay? Still twenty minutes is there. So for the twenty minutes, you people know at seven o'clock our hand is at seven, but at seven twenty our hand is not at seven. It's slightly moving away from seven. That moment only I am calculating now. So if you divide by three, ten degrees here. So plus ten, you got two twenty as the answer. Simple, no formulas, nothing. I don't recommend to go with formulas. Two twenty degrees here. Are understanding this hover hand angle? Right, so each hour thirty degrees. Okay, so from there minutes also you can understand. Okay, sixty minutes thirty degrees means twenty minutes it will be ten degrees. So that's why we got two twenty as the answer. So back to one questions. We're done with ten questions in one. Let me go over the remainder. Two more. A reduction of twenty percent. At least five more questions we'll discuss. Fifteen in one, ten in raising. Sounds good, right? A reduction of twenty percent in the price of wheat enables a person to buy ten point five kg more for rupees hundred. What is the reduced price per kg, my dear friend? See, as price is reduced. Okay, you are getting extra 10.5 kgs. See, you went to a shop with 100 rupees previously. You got X kgs. Right now, price is something. Now you take in same 100 rupees. If price is decrease, listen. As price is decrease, listen. For X kgs, price how much decreased? Price is twenty one percent decrease, right? You can save twenty one rupees. If you got X kgs, means you can save twenty one rupees. Previous last month you taken X kgs for hundred rupees. Price is something, but price decreased by twenty one percentage. Okay, new price. I'll write P dash. P dash is seventy nine percent of P. Why seventy nine percent is twenty one percent decreased. As price is decreased, okay, you can save the amount if you want exchanges. But what this, what here here is happening? What happening? You understand the question? No formulas. What happening here? Price decreased, okay, but what you are doing instead of saving twenty one rupees, you are taking ten point five exchanges extra. So. As per the new price, it's very very simple point. As per the new price, 
for 21 rupees you are getting 10.5 kg so each kg is 21 divided by 10.5 means 2 per kg is the new price simple option b i am not using any formulas here i always see the question in a simple manner you know question artham cheskodam question ni simple ga chudam nechukon prathi sari sar na formulas formula formula ala eppudu avalochukan question enta simple ga chusam ala question enti okay ni small code enti price tagita automatic ga నువ్వు అమౌంట్ సేవ్ చేసుకోవచ్చు లేదు నువ్వు ఎక్స్ట్రా తెచ్చుకోవచ్చు సో ఇక్కడ ఏం చేస్తారు ఆయన ఓకే ఆ ట్వంటీ వన్ రూపీస్ ని సేవ్ చేస్తారు ఎందుకు ట్వంటీ వన్ రూపీస్ ట్వంటీ వన్ పర్సెంట్ ఆఫ్ హండ్రెడ్ నీ వంద రూపాయల బడ్జెట్ నీకు వంద రూపాయల బడ్జెట్ లో ప్రైజ్ ఎంత తగ్గింది అన్నాడు ట్వంటీ వన్ పర్సెంట్ ట్వంటీ వన్ పర్సెంట్ ఫర్ హండ్రెడ్ అంటే ట్వంటీ వన్ నువ్వు ట్వంటీ వన్ రూపీస్ సేవ్ చేసుకోవచ్చు లేదు దాని బదులు టెన్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ కేజెస్ తీసుకోవచ్చు guys understand okay you can save 21 rupees but here instead of saving 21 rupees you spend the entire 100 rupees and you are getting now 10.5 kgs extra means the shop is giving as per the new price instead of 21 rupees you are allowed to take 10.5 kgs means 21 divided by 10.5 21 divided by 10.5 which is nothing but Two cages, two per cage. Sorry, which is nothing but two per cage. Clear, right? Let's see the next question. This is mixtures and allegations, or some people may find this as a profit and loss. Actually, this is mixtures concept, mixing. you are mixing water to the milk for the milk you are mixing water and you are getting 25% gain the question is percentage of water in the mixture is what a lot of people may think about 25 25 is not there in the option a dishonest milkman professes to sell his mill at cost price see but what he did he is selling for cost price but he is mixing water guys listen you have milk cost price of milk let's say 100 per liter or as per the question what they want to convey is they are selling the mixture of what is this mixture means for that mill they added some water for that mill water is added okay mill for that mill they are adding the water that's why all the mixture so sell the mixture at cost price okay so what are the cost price of the milk is there they are selling okay now how they got gain guys you know let's say practically let us consider 100 rupees 1 liter 1 liter cost is 100 rupees okay now you added water still you are selling for 100 rupees only right you will definitely get gain you okay you have milk 100 rupees cost right okay now what they are doing for that 100 rupees they are adding okay, for that milk they are adding water now still they are selling for 100 rupees means definitely they will get a gain how much gain they got 25% this gain is because of water they added they added water to the milk that is why they got 25% 25% gain that is because of water added to the milk 25 per cent means 25 by 100 1 by 4 so water to mill is 1 is to 4 they may ask you sometimes like this how water is mixed with the milk means 1 is to 4 ratio or how 
milk is mixed with the water and four is to one ratio okay now they are asking water percentage i can take water is k milk is 4k here as it is 1 is to 4 i can say water is k milk is 4k now water percentage water percentage is water out of total into 100 water percentage is water out of total into 100 water here is k total is 5k multiply by 100 you will get 20% so that is why option a is the correct thing it's not 25 20% only you are getting gain because water is added to the milk so water out of milk is the 25% so 25% is 25 divided by 100 it's nothing but 1 by 4 part water is one part milk is four parts so total will be five parts one out of five is what the answer right these are all difficult questions you know see the next question very easy one one brazil bangles means 12 bangles right okay now if you slip that they may give mirror okay they may give bangles like that so here are some students in the class like that they'll give and which cannot be the ratio now you okay that bangles are broken or fell down some some are slipped okay some will be broken some will be good broken to unbroken ratio cannot be what my dear friend simple thing cannot be right 1 plus 2 is 3 the total can be divided by 3 yeah, it's possible 1 plus 3 is 4 Total can be divided by four, so broken to unbroken one is to three possible. One plus five is six. Total is divided by six. I can split as one is to five also possible, but total is not divided by five. Broken to unbroken, two is to three is not correct. Broken to unbroken, two is to three is not correct. Right. So two more questions. 15 in one, 10 in reasoning like that. At least so is proportional to square of its weight. Weight, square of its weight. So if you remove that proportionality, I'll get some constant k. K is constant. To find that constant, okay, they given price of the stone is six thousand seven sixty. That uh, stone. Is divided into three pieces, right? Seven plus nine, sixteen. Sixteen plus ten is twenty-six. Listen, what I do? I take that is twenty-six grams. Weight of that is twenty-six grams. Then it's divided into seven is to nine is to ten means first one seven grams, second one nine grams, third one ten grams. It's broken and divided into three pieces. One gram, seven gram, nine grams, and ten grams. So K into seven. Okay, this is total twenty-six. So I'll take total weight as twenty-six grams. Twenty-six square means ten times. I got K value ten. Okay, now P price of this is equal to ten into W square, weight square. What is the new price as it is splitted into three pieces? Ten into seven square. One is divided into seven. One is divided into nine grams. One is divided into ten grams. This is what the price you got, right? So sixty-three, or uh, this is forty-nine, one forty-nine, and eighty-one, one fifty and eighty, two thirty, two thirty into hundred is two thousand three hundred. Original cost six thousand seven sixty. Now the price of that is this. As it is broken, okay, this price is this. Loss is this because as it is broken, they are losing four thousand four sixty rupees. There is a loss of four thousand four sixty rupees. A lot of people have a doubt, sir. How this is going to happen? Okay, twenty six grams. Twenty six grams. It's divided into three weights. Okay, one is seven, nine, and ten. 
there is no loss of weight but how this is possible sir my dear friend a plus b whole square is not equal to a square plus b square right or here combined one a plus b plus c whole square here individual one a square b square c square it's not equal right we have 2ab 2ab 2bc 2ca extra that's not that's missing that is why we have a loss here combined whole square here separate one whole square as it is not equal we are losing something that is what we are discussing here but for the loss and finally this is the last question for today session combinations and combinations eight people are sitting around a circular table numbered 1 to 8 in a clockwise direction a and f sit together b and d never sit together h and g sit opposite each other what is the total number of ways these people can be seated my dear friend question okay they are asking how many ways we can do that we have total eight eight people in a circle seating arrangements okay circle last question for today's session so if you answer this so we can close the things in a clockwise order okay clockwise let's say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now a and f sit together they are like one group it can be a f or f a that together fine h and g are opposite but why you have to keep that h can be at one place any place once h is fixed g can be fixed automatically there is no choice so h and g suppose let let me uh, occupy h H is having eight ways to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Among that, we can arrange. Select any place. And let me say, okay, H is occupied here. Then automatically, G is having only one way to go. That is nothing but here. Fine. So H and G out. Completed. A and F are sit together. Among these six places, okay, they can take. Two are take the others. Okay, for that six chances is the first of all for A you fix the neighbor will be up. Uh, okay, like that also you can go. B and D never sit adjacent to each other. Fine. Guys, try this. What way you can do? I'll give time. Two minutes time. Okay, we'll end this question. I'm gonna try again another question. Excellent question. కొత్తగా ఏదైనా వచ్చినప్పుడు ప్లీజ్ బీ ఫీల్ హ్యాపీ ఓకే మనం ఏదో నేర్చుకోవడానికి స్కోప్ ఉంది మనం ఏదో నేర్చుకుంటున్నాం సీ థింగ్స్ ఇన్ దట్ డైరెక్షన్ ప్లీజ్ what is the answer anyone try combination combinations advanced level it's not about four people or five people they given eight people We have among eight people, they given regarding six people only they discussed. H and G is opposite. Okay, A and F must be together. It can be A F or F A internally. Okay, then you can go for the remaining like they give. Okay, A F F A fine. Then after that you can see about B and particular 
one more person not to i think screen is not visible right now some issue one moment raise your name meanwhile Anyone answer from your end? What did you say? The file is somehow having some issue. I think now it's okay, right? Hope screen is visible now clearly. Fine. Let's see the solution without any delay. Okay. Now, fine. Now you can. Some people may have a doubt, sir. Why you arranged G and H first? Okay. Let's go with uh, A and F first. It's all up to you, dear. There is no problem for that. Okay. Some people are climbing, sir. First, go for A and F. Okay. You see, at the end also same answer will come. No issue. So, fine. First, we'll go for A. First, go for A. A having eight slots, eight ways. Right, A is having eight slots, eight ways. Then, okay, F can be neighbor for that. Right, so fine. But into two, F can be this side, or F can be this side. So A and F task complete. A and F task will be completed. Okay, with sixteen ways, sixteen ways. A and F together. That together. Okay, this is this. It may be A F or it can be F. They are together only. Okay, but 16 ways A and F can occupy the place. Right. So find 16 for that. Then G and H. Okay, they said G and H must be opposite. That also you can complete now. Or uh, you have how many slots? Okay, A and F. Let's say okay, they occupy these two slots. To for your understanding, among the 16, among those 16. i am showing you these two okay so two completed now i am among those 16 ways af can be 1 2 or 2 1 anything i am showing you one situation here we have done then h and g h is having six chances now still so h and g can be in 6 into 1 when h is fixed automatically g should be fixed i am showing you one case here h and g right okay now we have four slots only condition for b and d b and d never sit adjacent to each other okay there is no only b and d can be never together now remaining four slots are there right still four slots are there right so fine we have to think about b and d So so far, A and F, eight into two, H and G, six into one. So we got ninety six into something. Now remaining people, first B and D are all together. B D and what is the things left over is C, E. Right. So fine. Now okay, we have four. B and D never together means okay. Among the remaining people, it should be see you have four slots here, right? Okay, 
B can occupy, let's say B occupy this slot, depends on the slot also. Now B occupying fourth slot, B occupying third slot, place four or third slot, or okay, depends on that, your answer will vary. That's why I'm putting all case. Now let's say when P B is taking sudden position call, then B will take the position which is a PA. If B take PA, section G opposite, fine. But it's none clearly, okay, it's not like all these things, it's correct. Okay, you see, anyway, doubt, please let me know. This is the clear procedure we give how to approach. So first we say A and F, they say together or else. First you go for H and G also, no problem. First you settle H and G, then go for A and F section or put A and F first. A and F or F and A. That's why into two we already mentioned. Among those 16 possibilities, I take in one possibility and I'm addressing this. How you can arrange the remaining things. Right? So it's not, okay, 1,200, 2,560. We got this. Check once, hope you got the idea how we solve this. Any doubt from your end, please? Clear? Fine. Thank you. My doubts from the clarify this only let it close the them session. It's a difficult questions to discuss, Jason. Right, so you can doubt from the other Thanks for those people who are staying up to the last at the end of the session as well. We can also do that. I think everybody given unmute provision. Yeah, everyone have unmute provision. Doubts in the clarify this. I'm close the session. Thank you.